Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic. Today marks the start of our Dwarf Warrior Hard Mode playthrough. If you haven't been around the channel, you might not have seen that I did a Rogue Hard Mode playthrough that was a lot of fun. We are going to be using a set of rules for this one that I've come up with myself, with your guys' help. This is not a predetermined set of rules like an Iron Man run or a Green Man run or anything like that. So let's go ahead and talk about the rules we're going to be abiding by for this playthrough. Upon death, we are going to destroy all of our equipped gear and inventory. The caveat to this is that banked items are safe. This is going to incentivize us to use our bank to put in old gear or crafting materials, so in the event that we do die, we'll kind of have a place to pick up the pieces and start again. Uh, another rule for death is that we have three lives. So upon our third death, we delete the character. Now, the reason why I'm going with that is that for me, part of the reason why the Rogue playthrough was so much fun and so engaging was just that imminent danger that anything could kill us and then that was it. We were going to delete the character. So for this, having three lives will give us the ability to kind of progress things a little bit more, get our crafting going a little bit more, have some better gear and just a higher chance to survive and see more. But at the same time, there's still that big danger that we only have so many lives and we could end up deleting the character if we're not careful. I do want to keep that aspect of the hard mode rules. I feel like it's integral uh, to my enjoyment at least uh, of this kind of series. As far as gear, for our head, shoulders, chest, bracers, hands, belt, legs and boots, we can only equip items that we have crafted ourselves. So this is going to get us into mining and blacksmithing. For food, we are only going to eat food that we have either crafted ourselves or fish that we have caught. Furthermore, we're not going to have any add-ons for this playthrough. That's pretty typical of me. I don't use add-ons in Classic, so not really a big difference from normal. All NPC nameplates and health bars are going to be disabled. And if you've never played this way before, you haven't seen anybody play this way, without floating names, a lot of times, it's really hard to see enemies in World of Warcraft. To the point where if you're not paying attention, you're going to stumble into enemies and that could get you killed really quickly. On top of that, we are going to be on a PvP server for this one. We are on the Benediction server, which if you're interested is a US East Coast uh, time zone server. And yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. I had a lot of fun with the Rogue hard mode playthrough. I feel like a lot of you guys did as well. And I'm hoping this one will be even more enjoyable. I have a lot of experience on the warrior as a class, but I don't have a lot of experience in the dwarf starting areas. So a lot of the quests in those areas are going to be new to me. And as we found out on the rogue playthrough, new typically means dangerous. So I'm really excited to get in. Hope you guys are as well. Let's, let's go. The stoic dwarves of Ironforge spent countless generations mining treasures from deep within the earth. Hidden within their impregnable stronghold of Ironforge Mountain, they rarely ventured beyond the wintry peaks of Dulmora. Recently, however, the dwarves unearthed a series of ruins that held secrets to their ancient heritage. Driven to discover the truth about his people's fabled origins, the great king Magni Bronzebeard ordered that the dwarves shift their industry from mining to archaeology. As part of the Grand Alliance, the stalwart dwarven armies have been called away to battle the merciless horde in faraway lands. In these perilous times, the defense of the Mountain Kingdom falls to brave dwarves like you. The spirits of the ancient kings watch over you, and the very mountains are your strength. The future of your people is in your hands. All right, so first things first, we need to check a few settings here. Uh, let's go into sound. Yeah, that seems okay. Turn the music up a little bit to increase the immersion there. All right, so all of our names are off. And then we need to turn auto loot on. Let's shrink our window down here, move it a little bit out of the way. 
and just turn it to the combat log so we don't have to see the non-stop scroll. We said we would craft all of our own food, so we're going to take that food and we are going to drop it on the ground. It's going to make things a little tough until we get out of our starting area here. I'm not going to worry about grabbing professions till we're out of Cold Ridge Valley. We tried that on the Rogue and it didn't work. There was nothing skinnable in the starting area and we wasted a lot of time running to get the skinning skill that we then weren't able to use. So we're going to wait to get professions till we're out of Cold Ridge Valley. We're going to prioritize getting out of here as soon as possible. If you guys are new to the channel, I do tend to read most of the quests, especially ones that I haven't done before. I hope that you're into that. Dwarven Outfitters. What do we have here? You look as though you might need something to keep your hands warm. I'll tell you what would help. A pair of nice warm gloves. And being the kind soul that I am, I'd be more than happy to provide you with a suitable pair. I have one condition, however. I need you to go get me some wolf meat. Nice arrangement, hmm? You bring me some wolf meat and I make sure you don't lose any digits to frostbite. Safe travels. Alright, go kill some wolves. Pretty standard. Uh, I do want to get some extra action bars going. So let's do that. Let's move that up here. Let's move stone form up. Uh, let's see, that should work. There we go. I'm not going to run too far afield, we'll try to stay right around the main area here to save time. More than enough things to kill, let's just do a slash who. I'm always interested to see like who's leveling in areas as we progress. Not a lot of people here today. And there we have level 2. That one did not have a meat. We need one more meat. And I'm not 100% sure yet, but for survivability, I'm probably going to go protection spec. I know that the kill rate is lower. I leveled a Night Elf Warrior as protection spec for almost 40 levels before switching. Maybe it was 30 levels. So I know it's a bit slower, but I think when we're trying to make sure we live, Hi. it could help us out a lot. Ah, wonderful. The wolf meat should do nicely. Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't forget my part of the bargain. Uh, we are just going to sell everything. Again, we are not going to equip gear that we get from quest. The only gear we're going to equip in our main gear slots for armor is going to be stuff we craft. Simple rune. While you were helping me out, this rune was given to me to pass on to you. Take some time to read it to when you have a chance. I'm thinking it came from the warrior trainer Thrawn. Uh, let's see. He's inside Anvilmar. Watch your back. Coldridge mail delivery, I don't suppose you'd be willing to do me a favor. Stack of letters came through the past today, but I don't have the time to send them along. They're all addressed to Talon Kina. You can find him to the west down the road. Off with you. Let's go talk to our trainer. Well, let's grab this other quest. How are you? A new threat. 
I hope you're here to lend us a hand, warrior. After the last trog attack, we could use all the help we can get. I hear the buggers have been popping up all across the lands, and it seems Coldridge Valley is no exception. They've been spotted all over the hills to the southeast and near the frozen lake. That's not all. Just a few nights ago, they attacked and overran our camp to the west. We're a bit short-handed here, and we need strong arms to help drive the trogs back. Kill six rockjaw trogs and six burly rockjaw trogs. Safe travel. I like this zone so far because it's been so hot here that I'm I'm interested in weather like this. <laughs> if I can get into a colder state of mind, that would help out immensely. And I just hope that soon reality kind of reflects that. Great to meet you. Blast, it's cold today, ain't it? It's like the snow never goes away. It doesn't. You've probably noticed already, but there are gnomes now living in our city. That's because they went and got themselves blown out of their home. Don't go spreading this around, but I can hardly blame them. I think I would have resorted to explosives too if Ironforge were infested with dark irons or the like. Other things you'll probably see too, just so you're in the know. Dwarves using magic in a fight instead of a rifle. Some of us taken to worship in the holy light, like some of the humans, and last but not least, trogs. You'll learn more about them later, but what you need to know now is that I'm here to help you. Keep your feet on the ground. Speaking of that, let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's not do anything yet, be be good. because we need to sell some stuff. How are you? Watch your back. There we go, now we can afford to train. What can I do for you? See you soon. Uh, we'll go ahead and put this on F5 for now. I do use an MMO gaming mouse that has 12 buttons on the side that I can easily hit with my thumb, and that's where these F keys are bound. So... I found that enjoying a class is really about setting up your buttons in such a way that it's a joy to press them and not tedious or difficult. So key bindings are incredibly important. Let's see, let's track new threats. And then for the Cold Ridge mail delivery, what direction are we headed in? We are headed to the west. Which would be this way. Although I am kind of notoriously bad at, at directions, so... Uh, what do we have over here? Here we go. Burleys. Lots of burleys. Not really any regulars. Hmm. I wonder if the regular ones are going to be more just straight to the south. Well, that one's a burly. Here's a regular one. So I don't know how many of you follow the WoW news or how many of you are even really interested in the WoW news, but today there was an official statement by Blizzard and as part of that statement, they mentioned that they had something along the lines of classic fresh start coming soon. They didn't have any details except to confirm that classic fresh start was something that they were going to be doing. 
Uh, we don't know if that's going to be some kind of classic Fresh Start Plus with changes made. But they did say in the statement that they would have more information to share with us really soon. And you guys can read that full statement. Just open up uh, Blizznet or your, your Battle.net browser and it's going to be right there on the main page of, of, the, of the World of Warcraft tab. Uh, they had some news about retail as well. I am not currently playing retail, so that does not interest me as much, although there are some big quality of life changes coming to retail, as well as more cosmetic choices for some races that kind of got left out. From what I understand, Lightforge, Draenei, and Nightborn are definitely getting some more options. I think there are going to be options added for Void Elves as well, and I'm probably missing a little bit uh, there as well, but yeah. It's really interesting that with all the really bad stuff that has been happening at Blizzard and now the WoW team is under new co-leaders, now they're actually seeming interested in acting on player feedback and making changes to the game and doing things that players might enjoy. It's kind of like that's how they should have been running their game the entire time. But I hope it's a trend that continues because I am really interested in fresh start servers if they're going to add elements and change some things. So we will see how that goes. Hopefully we'll have more news in the days to come. All right, that's six and six, so we are done with the trogs. I do want to get this stack of letters delivered, I think, before we turn anything in back in town. There's a quest here that I'm not sure I'm supposed to pick up yet because I think we get a breadcrumb to come here. I'm going to hold off on picking that up. Because I want to see if we get a breadcrumb to go there when we turn in the this stack of letters. Seeing as how the road leaves, leads from one tent to the other camp, we're, yeah, we're, it's probably going to breadcrumb us right over there. Interest you on a pint? Thank you, I've been waiting for these letters for quite some time. Unfortunately, these letters aren't all for me. This one is addressed to Grelin Whitebeard. He's not too far away if you'd like to deliver it to him. There we go. If I remember correctly, Grelin's camp is down the road to the southeast. Off with you. And what else do you have? How are you? The Boar Hunter. Nothing like a day of boar hunting, huh? Though here in Coldridge Valley, there are so many boars it almost takes the fun out of it. No need to get them charging. They're all angry and ready without any help. In fact, recently, there have been so many boars in the area, it's become dangerous for me to do my daily hunting. Long story short, if you could help me kill some of the boars, I would appreciate it. Kill 12 good. small crag boars. Uh, we could probably take care of this first, and then head over to uh, Grelin's camp. And yeah, this is probably going to be a bit of a longer episode than usual. I will try to keep the episodes around 30 to 40 minutes most of the time. Unless we get really wrapped up in a quest that just happens to take a lot longer than that, then we'll finish the quest. But today's going to be a bit longer. My goal is to hit level 5 and get out of Cold Ridge Valley so we can go to Ironforge, learn mining, and first aid and blacksmithing. We'll also need to pick up cooking, so it's kind of going to depend on how much coin we have. Might not be cheap to pick all those up at once right at level 5, but we'll do our best to get all of our professions as soon as we get out of Cold Ridge Valley. That way we'll be able to mine as much as possible, etc. And yeah, I can't wait to make something for our character because gosh, she must be cold out here. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's such a natural reflex for me to skin everything I kill at this point that it like kind of hurts my brain to be walking away from these boars without skinning them. <laughs> These trolls are aggressive, so we are going to stay away from them. Should be able to get this boar over here, though. Well, maybe not. Let's go for it. Although they are level 4, so... Not sure we want to aggro any of the trolls at this moment. No boars out on the ice. Okay. Alright, that's 12 out of 12. You got my attention. Excellent, I can go back to my leisurely hunting now. Watch your back. Alright, he's all done with us. Let's head down the road here over to the southeast and we'll find the other camp. And I'm sure he's going to have things he wants us to do. We're going to wait on heading back to town until we've done whatever he wants of us. Then again, if we turn the other quest in and get a level, Nori Pride Rift here might have his quest available for us. It's gray right now, so... Well met. Here are your letters, sir. The Troll Cave. My brother Sanir and I were sent to different parts of Dunmoreau to investigate the threat posed by the trolls. The Senate has its hands full with the Trogs, so they've no need for further annoyances. From what I've seen, the trolls aren't well situated here in Coldridge Valley, mostly the Southern Cave. I'd say that the army will not be necessary. A few strong arms should be more than enough. Perhaps you'd like to assist in this endeavor. I have the authority to offer compensation for your help. Kill 14 Frostmane Troll Whelps, and it's going to give us a weapon, uh, which we need badly. We're probably going to take the... the well, these are both one-handed items. We can't equip two-handed maces yet. I, I wonder where we would train that. Uh... We'll take the one-hander because eventually we should be able to get a shield. Now, that being said, before we hunt down the troll caves, I, I guess we should go back and turn this other quest in. Uh, that's likely going to get us our level, which will open up our, our buddy's quest over here. And we'll see if we can do some quest stacking that way. On your mind. If the problems we've had here are indicative of what's happening elsewhere in our lands, by Magni's beard, we have some troubles ahead of us. I can only hope that the King and Senate are taking steps to deal with the threat the Trogs pose. See you soon. Alright, there indeed is level 4. Which one of you guys is a vendor? You are. What can I get for you today? Let's go ahead. Oh, look at that. Our bags are getting full. Oh, there's our shield. We'll hang on to this. We'll hang on to that. Which one's better? Okay, they're both exactly the same.
And we should probably make a little stop at our trainer. We did hit level 4. It's going to be really important that we keep up on our skills. And keep up on our skill ranks. So we're always uh, optimized. And it looks like there's a quest back here. So it's a good thing we came back here. A refugee's quandary. We drove the trogs out of the Nomergon, but then it all went so horribly wrong. Now our home is completely irradiated and we gnomes have been scattered all over Dunmoreau. In my haste to get away from the radiation, I lost all my personal belongings and tools. It was the trolls that got them. They stole my chest, my box, and my bucket of bolts. They took them back to their camp southwest of Anvilmar. I'm no adventurer. Could you find my things and please bring them to me so southwest in the troll camps? Which is exactly where we're going to be headed, I think. So that's good. No. Excellent, we get charge and rend. That is awesome. I think charging in is going to start our auto attack, isn't it? I'd like to not have attack on our hotbar, so let's do this for now and see if that works out. If not, then we will change it. Alright, looking at the map here, this is probably a troll cave. I'm assuming because it's to the southwest. Let's head back over to the little camp and see if that guy there that had the gray exclamation point above his head will now give us his quest. Ouch. Scalding Morning Brew Delivery. This I was supposed to get this delicious Scalding Morning Brew to Durnan Fur Cutter inside Anvilmar a while ago now, but I had to deliver one to Grelin here first. I'll never make it to Anvilmar before the brew runs cold. Okay, this is a timed quest to take the brew back to Anvilmar. We're not going to do this right now. See we'll do soon. this once we come back here to turn the troll quest in. So let's do this. We'll track both of these quests. And we'll head over to the southwest. So we're looking for items on the ground at the various camps, and we need to kill 14 troll whelps. I'm going to prioritize looking for the items first, and then we will clean up with whatever we have left for the kill quest. I probably do need to be a little bit careful here, but they shouldn't pose a, too much of a threat. We'll see though. Here's the bucket of bolts we need. And I'm assuming it's going to be a one item per camp sort of deal. So we'll have to be looking for a few other camps. Let's grab the chest over here. And we'll head further to the east first. We'll see if there's another camp over this way. Kind of walked right into that one while making sure the other guy wasn't pathing towards us. Oh, 
All right, let's see what is going on here. We have Felix's chest in here, so we do need to get down here. But this looks like it might be a two-pull. We could try to, like, body-pull it, but then we're not going to get the charge. The only really good thing about this is that these guys don't run. Otherwise, this might have been trouble. Now, we're not eating any of the food we have until we can either fish or craft some food ourselves. So we're going to wait on our natural regen here for a second. Uh, and we do have somebody inside the tent. Hmm, this might be kind of the same situation here. I wonder if we could come around this side. And get him to pull on us without pulling the guy in the tent. Yeah, there we go. That actually worked. I wonder if we keep heading west to look for the other camp, or if we need to look back to the east. Let's head a little bit to the west. We still need to kill seven troll whelps, so... We don't have to avoid too many combats, but I do want to give a look around and see where this last item might be. It looks like it might be up here in this camp somewhere. So we're going to work our way in to get a little closer. Yeah, there's the, the last item we need, Felix's box. Uh, we'll take this guy out who's on the perimeter of the camp first. And then we have three in the interior part of the camp to deal with. We might be able to get them all as individual pulls. Even if we charge in. Let's, let's find out how this works. Yeah, they don't have a big aggro radius, so... That's good. Let's clear this guy out. He's patrolling a little bit too close to the item, and if I let him do that, he's going to attack us while we're opening the item up. And that would just be annoying. Alright, there's the last of the gnome's items. Let's go ahead and kill our last two trolls here. Home invasion style, because, you know, it's World of Warcraft and we expect no less. Or no more. <laughs> no less and no more than what it is. Which is us going into people's homes and usually slaughtering them just because they're not the same race we are. And maybe they don't speak the same language. Seems kind of crude. But again, it is World of Warcraft, so... We all know what we're signing up for. Wanton murder and destruction, mainly. Alright, we are all done here. Let's head back to the little camp first. We'll grab the brew that needs to be delivered back to Anvilmar. What's on your mind? Let's grab this mace and then we'll try out a one-hander and a shield. Oh, look at that. The next quest, we will actually get a shield. 
My journal, they took it away to the cave, the one that had it. It was a big brute with some odd markings on his skin and face. I didn't get a much better look at him than that. You've had some luck with the trolls. Maybe you could get it back for me. Keep your feet on the ground. We might be able to do just that. So we are going to hold off again on taking this dude's fetch quest or delivery quest. And we are going to head back to the troll cave. Now, I don't know if this is like an elaborate cave that goes deep or if it's just a little hole in the mountainside that sh that's really shallow. Uh, we will find out in a second here. I have a feeling it goes a little ways. Maybe this is the first place that we need to be a little bit careful and also conscious of our health. And I'm kind of hoping that after we kill all these guys and work our way back to the back of the cave that they'll still be dead when we need to run out. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's fine I guess. It's more kill experience, but I really appreciate it when the respawn rate is such that we can kill our way through a dungeon and then kind of make our way out without having to fight the same guys again. Doesn't always happen that way. This is a really elaborate cave. And we are looking for one troll amongst many. The great thing is, at this level, I feel like we're kind of unstoppable, even without any gear equipped. Shouldn't say that, but that's what it feels like right now. I have a feeling we're going to have to explore most of this cave in order to find this guy. Chances of this being the right direction, um, very slim. Alright, I see Gricknir the Cold down here. I, I have to assume this is the guy that we need. Got a patrol here that's kind of going through the whole area. Let's take him out before he causes any problems for us. Well, that was a weird and unfortunate path that uh, ended up aggroing our buddy here. Luckily, we just crit that guy and destroyed him. And sadly, our inventory is full. Hopefully, this will be the only time this happens. 
I don't think we can make cloaks as a blacksmith, so the cloak slot, as well as things like the neck, the rings and trinkets, we're going to equip those from wherever we get them. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll equip our frayed cloak. That will give us room in our inventory for the journal. And with that, we should be able to just get out of here now. There's nothing else in here for us to do yet. I don't know if we get sent back here or not. And we already have respawns. This one wants to make us into Mojo. I didn't know that they could do that. Doesn't seem pleasant. All right, buddy, here is your journal. Wonderful, many thanks for retrieving my notebook. Well, it would seem that the troll situation here in Coldridge is under control and not much cause for worry. After I put the finishing touches on my report, I'll need someone to courier it to my brother, Sanir. Let's take the shield. Uh, let's equip the shield and the one-hander. There we go. Sanir's observations. I was planning on sending my apprentice to my brother Sanir with my report, but I would feel much better were it placed in more reliable hands. That is, of course, if you wouldn't mind. Hmm. You'll have to take the tunnel to get to Karanos. Speak with Mountaineer Thalos before going through the tunnel. It's completely infested with trogs now. Follow the road back to Anvilmar, then keep heading east. That's our breadcrumb to get out of the little starting area. Out of Coldridge Valley and onto bigger and better things. Do we have room in our inventory for What's this? On your mind? No. <laughs> we don't. Let's drop... Let's drop the healing herbs. Great to meet you. Uh, none of you guys are vendors. Hi. Watch your back. Alright, and this is going back to town. We could use our hearthstone here and save like... 45 seconds. But I don't really think it's worth it, even though we're probably not going to use it again today. Let's give Felix all of his tools that will get them out of our inventory. Huzzah, you found them. You're an absolute savior, my friend. Here, it's not much, but it's something for the trouble I put you through. You have a great day now. And then we need to deliver the brew while it's still hot. Hi. There we go. 
Oh, bring back the mug. Now that hit the spot. Nothing like a piping hot, nay, scalding morning brew on a cold winter's day to warm up, warm your cackles of your soul. Safe travels. Ah, uh, and now we bring the mug back. At least that's not timed as well. We do need a vendor if we can find one. What's on your mind? We can sell all the shields we've been collecting. We'll get rid of our two-hander. There we go. Up with you. And after we turn this in, if he doesn't have anything else, we will use our hearthstone then. That'll get us near the road so that we can get out of here. So now I'm glad that we saved our hearthstone. See, everything has a reason. What can I do for ya? Excellent, you'd be surprised how many couriers I meet who forget to do something as simple as bring back the mug. Mugs don't grow on trees, so they tell me. See you soon. Okay, that was literally it. Alright, then we were going east. That's not east. That's east. How are you? Hell, have a care. The tunnel to Dunmoreau is infested with trogs and it's not safe for travelers. If you haven't any pressing business in Dunmoreau, I'll have to ask you to remain in Anvilmar until the tunnel is safer. That's not going to work for us, buddy. The trogs in the tunnel are extremely hostile and haven't shown any hesitation in attacking travelers through the tunnel. You seem tough enough, though, so you should probably be safe. See you soon. We'll see. Uh, what do we have over here? Honored, I'm sure. Supplies to Tanak. Hey, you look like a hearty adventurer. If you're planning on braving the past, do you suppose you could bring a package to the inn in Karanos? Yes, we could. Very well, then. And we'll just fight all these guys as we come across them.
All right, now we have entered into the much bigger world. We're going to stop by Karnos, and we'll just see what's there. Maybe we'll get lucky, and they'll have a mining trainer, and a blacksmithing trainer, and a first aid trainer, and a cooking trainer. <laughs> I don't really think they're going to have all those trainers, uh, but it is possible. So we will have a look, and then we will head on to Iron Forge after that. Should we take the road? Probably, but let's just go a little off-road here. Let's let's kind of be close enough to the road to see if there are any quests that we might pass. I forget that sometimes there are quests along the road. So maybe we should just stick to it for the moment. I kind of thought there might be a quest up by this derelict tank, but uh, I'm not seeing anybody right now. Hmm. Maybe that's something that we pick up later. Alright, let's get these turned in and then we'll have a thorough look around. What's on your mind? What's this? Ah, my brother's report. I told him to be sparing with the use of the king's name, but he didn't listen. And no harm, I suppose, though it's sure to ruffle some feathers in the Senate. Not that those weren't some feathers that needed ruffling. Nonetheless, I guess that means I should send my report on to Ironforge as well, but I must admit I am a bit behind. I should have I should have some work for you later, if you're interested. Off with you. Okay. We see that he will eventually have a quest for us. I don't think I'm going to pick up all these quests right now. I am going to look for trainers in here. Hello. This should be the first aid trainer. There we go. Be good. And we don't have anything to sell, so we actually might need to be careful with what skills we're learning right now. Let's go ahead and make the in our home. You're the cooking trainer, but that's going to cost us another silver. I'm kind of getting worried that we're going to run out of silvers. As long as we have enough to get mining, we'll be okay, even if we can't get blacksmithing right away. There we go. Watch your back. And there's not a general supplies nearby. We need to find a general supplies vendor. There we go. To meet you. Or maybe it was trade goods that we need. It's probably trade goods. How are ya? Uh, let's take the food and we will sell Safe it. Travels. What can I do for you? Keep your feet on the ground. What can I do for you? Be good.
Alright, here is a blacksmithing trainer, but that's not going to get us really far without a mining trainer. And I want to train mining first. My attention. So we're going to hold off for now on learning blacksmithing. I think my best bet is honestly just going to be to run us to Ironforge. So maybe we just do that really quick and we can find all the trainers that we need there. Ah, uh, there is a trainer over here. Is that going to be an engineer? Let's go check it, just in case it is a mining trainer. Oh, and apparently there are a ton of quests over here to pick up as well. There we go, there's the mining trainer. Talk to me. Alright, so we don't need to go to Ironforge right now, that's kind of good. Hey, good. We do need to find a trades good vendor to buy a mining pick though. And I haven't seen any over here. Engineering supplies, oh, you're yeah. probably not going to have what we need. Oh, you do! Look at that! Engineering supplies, perfect. Let's buy a mining pick. And we're getting to the point where we're basically broke, but let's buy a blacksmithing hammer as well. Off with you. We'll head back up the hill here. And we'll grab We'll grab blacksmith or yeah, we'll grab blacksmithing. And that'll be it. That should be all the skills that we need for the time being, besides fishing. We do need to find a fishing trainer, so maybe that'll be something that we do end up uh, just going to Ironforge for, unless we come across one rather quickly. Alright, that is just about all we can do. We have exhausted all of our money. We are going to park it at the inn here for today, guys. This has been a good time. I'm really excited to get our crafted go crafting going and get some gear on our character. And we're going to have to spend some time mining. So we're going to have to, as we quest, kind of scour the cliff sides and mountain sides and making sure that we pick up all the minerals that we can uh, to make the most gear that we can as we go. So yeah, we'll take a break here. Next time, we will go ahead and level up our cooking. We can at least make food now that we can eat. We'll pick up fishing as soon as we can also. Hope you guys enjoyed this today. Let me know all of your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. And if you did enjoy the video and you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It would help me out a lot. I don't usually ask for it, but it is the first episode. And it's the only time you'll probably hear me mention it. Thank you guys so much for all the support that you've shown. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.